Sisters, I'm Brianna. I'm Ashley. And today I'm going to teach you how to get this Windows mouse on Mac, how to get the pointer, and how to get the selector. I got many requests for this, so let's do this. Okay guys, so the first step you need to do is you need to download this application called Mousescape. I made a video of how to do this um, a few months ago, so it's called, if you go on my channel, do how to change your Mac, your Mac cursor in 2020. And you need to watch around 50 seconds and you can watch it all the way until um, I guess 148 would be pretty good I think that would be fine yeah it'd be fine like right there perfect pause time guys you know that's perfect pause time and how um, you get to this and download it, the links are all right here. It says links mentioned in the video. What you need to do is you need to go to first link, you press it, and then you just download it and follow me in the video. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. I try to answer every single comment. So now to getting the mouse image. You go on this website, I'll link this down below in the description and I'll put it sec as second link in the video. So what you do to get this Windows thing, you just search up Windows, my bad windows and once that loads you'll see all of these things um i find more results if i just do windows for me um see i have all these things that are related to it um so the one i'm going to use is similar to this um and if you go here it shows you more recommended things and then i finally when i was finally clicking around here i finally got to this. So if you search up fluent cursors, this will pop up. I'll link this one like directly to this one down below in the description. And what you need to download is this one, this one, and this one. So how you do that is you press on it, you get this image, not the second one, this one, you right click, you do save image as, I'm gonna put this as arrow, and I'm saving it to my downloads. Once that saves, we go back and then we go to this one. We get this one, not that one. The first one right here, the smaller one. We right click, do save image as, and we're going to save it as pointing. Once we save that, we go back and then we go to this one. Once we do that, we save the image and then we put it as IB. So once we save that, open up all these images we do not need this anymore so as you can see um, there's this like little I don't know what this is but a little like thing this indicates where the, like the little hot spot is or where to cl like click or select your thing you'll see what I'm talking about later but how to get rid of it is you just zoom in real close and you just like you just do that you just chop it off you chop it off the mouse and then once that's done you just get out of it same thing for this you just go up like that oh that's a bit too close but you know it's fine like that just go here and go there see then that's gone okay same thing for this one you just you know zoom in you go here here I just need to or you know we're gonna take out this whole little shadow right here it won't make a difference really do that and this and as you can see it's still the apple thing when i zoom like you see right there i'll zoom into it but for me that part doesn't really matter so now we got this all right so now we're gonna open up mousecape let me just quit out of all these other things so now you go to mousecape you search it up like here and then what you're gonna do, you're not gonna have any of this unless you've used Mousecape before. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to File, New Cape. You're gonna open that new cape by pressing, right clicking, then pressing Edit. All right, now what you need to do is you need to press the plus button. I'll minimize this for less distraction. Um, so once you go to here, you're gonna select it as arrow. Now we need to get our image from Downloads right here and drag the arrow to one X 
For this image, 1x will work best, but sometimes if you get any other images, you might have to put it at 2x, but for me, this image is too small for 2x. And as you can see, there's this little red dot, and you want to put this little red dot right here so it is as accurate as possible, because if the red dot's up there, then it'll be impossible to click things. And for this image, if you didn't edit anything else on this image, the, the best hotspot you can get I know not hot spot like your phone, but hot spot for the red dot is 19 and 16. As you can see, the red dot is right where the pointer is and you need to keep it that way. Then we're gonna put the plus button and you see it's another unknown. You go to type, then you go to unknown. This is where a lot of people mess up and we're gonna put I beam. Once you put I beam, we're gonna get the thing we called I-beam. Now you know why I called it that, so we don't get confused. We put it there at 1x, and the hot spot you need to put is you need to put 24 and then 23.5. Once you've done that, you just press the plus button one more time, go to the unknown, then we are going to go to pointing. So once we look for that, there we go, we got it, and we put pointing. The hot spot for that is 1711. Once we put 1711, there you go, we set it up. We can name this if we want, I'll just put this as Windows, Windows Pack. All right, it's perfect like that. We're gonna press X, then we're gonna press Save. Now we can go back to the mousescape that I just minimized. And let me just select this real quick. If we select Windows Pack, then we have the Windows Pack. So I can delete the other one I used to have. And I don't need this anymore. So now if I try to highlight something, let me get something up here. Oh, there we go. Now here's like the little eye beam, I guess that's what it's called. Here's the little pointing. And that's basically how you do it. And Hopefully this was helpful for you, and if you need more in depth about Mousescape, just DM me on Discord, um, I'll link it down below in the description. I have a Discord server, and I need to tell you something guys, that's really exciting. If you use Brave Browser, and you go to my YouTube channel, right here you'll see this little rewards button, you click on it. It says, Animal Sisters on YouTube, Brave Verified Creator. So on Brave, I'm a verified creator. And if you want to give me a mon monthly contribution, you can or send a tip. You don't have to. Um, it's just so I can help save up for my new computer. Or you can join my channel. You get exclusive videos. There's different levels. And if we get enough members at level, I think, what is it, level 2? We're gonna do a lot of members only live streams where we can play games and stuff. It'll be super, super, super fun. So if you guys could do that, it's not required. You don't have to do it. It's just, just me letting you know because a lot of people don't know about it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you like this video and see you in our next video guys. Bye.